Hammy's excited. <laughs> he gets to join the Super Bowl party this year. Nice! Past years have been tough for Hammy, since we usually have to gate him off in order to keep him from eating all of the food our friends and family would bring over. It's not that we don't want Hammy to hang out and share his silly energy with everyone. It's that the food we'd leave out was never something a dog can really eat. But this year gets to be a little different, since now we can include the corgis since they decided to write their own cookbook, Barcuterie. A cookbook focused on making charcuterie boards that both dogs and humans can eat. So now Hammy gets to share his feedback on the food we put out. Maybe some turkey! And I know that things will be healthy before asking for other suggestions. Make moves! I mean, fair enough. Let's start on some cucumber pajitos. We start with a cucumber, hence the title, some fresh mint leaves, some unsweetened coconut milk, because we're going to sweeten this up with some lovely bee juice, otherwise called honey by you normies. Bee juice! We want to get about a quarter of this cucumber chopped up, but save the rest, we'll need it. And we're going to only need about a cup of unsweetened coconut milk to make this creamy. So toss about 10 mint leaves into a blender, accompanied by your cup of coconut milk and half a cup of water. A dash of those cucumbers for good measure, and don't forget a tablespoon of that lovely bee nectar. Once we give it a good zhuzh and get that pajito properly blended, it's necessary to give it a quick taste test before breaking out a mold to get filling. We had this snowflake mold that we felt matched the frozen drink theme, and it's important to mention that we don't hide from messes here because no one's perfect and dogs don't have opposable thumbs anyways. Go! So as long as you have a cleanup crew standing by, we are a judgment-free zone. So now that we're able to get our mocktails into the freezer to take shape, it's time to pick out a board so we can start assembling the main attraction. This is a Super Bowl watch party, so we're making the centerpiece of football. We're going to put a couple slices of deli turkey down on the board to act as the outline that will be our edible football. We're going to add some leftover cucumber slices to the surrounding area of the turkey so that we'll be able to build a barricade for the final filling. And so that we can incorporate a balance of healthy, sweet, and savory options, we're going to add strawberries to the outline, as well as a couple piles of blueberries because who can say no to those antioxidants? Blackberries are great because not only can they stand on their own and help you fill in any blank spaces, they're loaded with vitamins A, C, K, and they're also an excellent source of fiber. And to stay on our health-conscious trajectory, we'll fill it in with some carrots and just some strawberries to fill in the blanks. This dish will hold our mocktails, and then we're going to fill in the middle with some single-ingredient beef liver dry dog treats that's going to make it look like textured leather so that we can emulate a football. Once we're able to slap down some slices of cheese, we're able to give our football some laces. And then there you have it, a Super Bowl-ready barcuterie board. Now don't forget about our little freezer dwellers since these are the final touches to our spread. They only need about an hour in the freezer to fully set, and look at how they pop out of the silicone so easily. And just like that, you and your fur babies are ready for the big game. So whether it's a holiday to watch the game or just for the heck of it, food is meant to bring everyone together, and we couldn't stand living in a world where that didn't include our dogs. So the next time you're thinking of hosting, don't forget that regardless of the occasion, we found a way for your pets to have a seat at the table too. Subscribe! Comment! Comment. Hit like it, guys!